What made you more in tune recently? Um, I had stopped smoking weed. Good. And so you stopped uh, medicating yourself and right. you started allowing your brain to feel again. Yes. Um, I'm Joseph. I'm 28. Um, I run my own business. We do a food catering business. Gotcha. Awesome. And so he goes from LA, drove, uh, drove down here, and he's been hurting for a long time. So. Uh, what is your symptoms? Why did you come down here? Um, I have bad neck pain that has shot down to my shoulders. Um, may give me headaches in the front of my my head. And, um, he's telling me it might have to do with also why I have ear problems and um, blockage in my ear on the right side mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and then middle of the back and I'm starting to notice that my toe might even be going numb on the left, left side. side. So. Okay. And you've been suffering for four years you said, right? Yes. Yeah. Okay, so why four years later do you finally come in today? I'm curious, what drives you to come in today? Because I'm more in tune with my body and I'm tired of feeling like this. Yeah, what made you more in tune recently? Um, I had stopped smoking weed. Good, and so you stopped uh, medicating yourself and right. you started allowing your brain to feel again. Yes. Yes. Okay, and that's very important for you guys to understand because you know it's just another analgesic when you take uh, when you smoke pot. It's all it is is covering, masking up the symptoms. Mm -hmm. And so if you want to mask it, mask it all you want. But now that he's coming out of the haze. Yes, I agree. The haze of smoking all this marijuana. Yeah. He's not only his body is feeling more, but his also his mind is feeling more. Yes. And a mind is a terrible thing to waste. Yes. Yeah. I was working twelve hours a day, <clears throat> and the first thing I do when I get off of work is smoke smoke weed. And I did my job very, very well, but you... The weed smoking? You, <laughs> <laughs> no, but yeah, you, you, you don't really know how, how, how much in pain you are without it. You yeah. just don't, like I was getting massages and medicating you with that. Yeah, and medicating with the massages yeah, and... The, and uh, yeah, and yeah. I even think I needed to work out, but didn't have like the, the you know, but yeah. once I stopped, the priorities getting... Priorities changed, changed. yeah, exactly. Yeah. And again, you come to this age that you all of a sudden shit or get off the pot. So now he's like, okay, I'm going to start doing yeah. something. Yeah. That's what he is. That's man, that's an old school term. Yeah. It is. Well, I'm old. So, yeah. <laughs> okay, so uh, let's ask you a couple other things now. So, what has this pain stopped you from doing? Let's just talk about the big, the big idea. What, what, what has this pain made you become? Well, the pain is kind of like when you see people in pain and they get a little more grumpy. The pain, the pain doesn't allow me to feel like my true self. You know, I'm very, I was very, very athletic. I worked out two hours a day, five days a week. So with me stop working out and then you feel- Has this stopped you from working out? I don't feel like I'm getting the same results. Interesting, does it make you not want to work out or when you work out, you don't get those results? What is it? It, it doesn't, it doesn't make me feel as strong as I used to feel. Interesting. Because like, again, I'm having like all this shoulder and muscle pain. I get good results because I'm still young, I guess. And like, I, get, I start getting good results. There is an old term called old and weak though yeah, too. Yeah, but like, like when I throw up, like I'm trying to train to fight. So I can't, I don't feel like my punches are coming off like good if I'm hearing a clacking and clicking. Yeah, 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 yeah. Or yeah. my muscles have feel like they have knots in them and the body. So what's happened essentially is you're not doing the things you want to do. You're not enjoying life like you were before because you're you're stifled. Yes. Yeah. Gotcha. Yeah. I, I, especially with this in the back of your head, like you're always it's always something in the back of your head. Yeah. What else has it stopped you from doing? Anything work wise? Um work work wise, it just it it prevents you from maybe Maybe enjoying the moments as much as you think yeah, you should. that's a really good point. I like the way you put that. I thought he was going to say something else, but enjoying the moments. Because you know something? Life isn't the destination. It's the, what, the road Journey. Road. It's yeah. the journey, yeah. right? And so uh, enjoying the moments that happen when you're building a business is, is what it's all about. It's not always the money. The money is just a way of keeping track, right? Yeah. But the enjoyment of building a business and he's missing those things. Yeah. So I love yeah. that. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, I like that. I hope you guys like that um, perception. Anything else? How about uh, anything with your relationship? Has it changed anything in your relationship? Um, I I noticed again, like I said, like you're, starting to get personal. I'm just kind of curious. No, like so you stop smoking weed, you get a little more grumpy. Then in your relationship, you might be less lenient with issues and different things that might have bothered you before. He knows his girlfriend's gonna listen. Less lenient. <laughs> yes, less lenient with things like you know certain things that might not. Just like the pain doesn't bother you as much. Certain things don't don't bother you as much but then now when you like get when you're more acute when you're more thinking it when you're yeah. actually able to hear stuff more yeah exactly so yeah, now yeah. you're more in tune with your body yeah, you're yeah, also yeah. more in tune with yourself yeah and that's a the very com important comes very with important. the price and again i love feeling the way i feel i like being on edge i like 
having all that knowledge come in. I don't want to be blunt. I don't want to be blunted by. It's like by, building the edge of the sword. And and somebody told me, um, being high or not, embrace the paranoia. So embrace embrace your off the wallness. Embrace your craziness. Don't let anyone try to like you know. Don't put what's the thing? Don't put baby in the corner, kind of thing like that. Don't let. I anyone, have no idea what that means, but all the other things school, I agree with. Yeah, the old school <laughs> turn. Don't put me in a box. Don't let anybody box your your personality. You know, embrace yeah. your weirdness. Again, God gave us His body, right? And we, why not use it to its extent? Why mute all the sensation, all the things you can have? Because it's all here. We enjoy life because we are a mental people. Mm -hmm. And so when you dull that, you would dull life. And so yes, you may have less pain. Yes, you may not have these these issues as much, but you also don't enjoy the big the uh, the, yeah. this, the, uh, the big things that happen, the yeah. accomplishments. Yeah, exactly. And I and I definitely like said like prior to again, work was a big thing and then guess one thing like prior to this I ran a marathon. Like I I always and lots of stressors happen family to this. You always want to you always it, it makes it feel like you're not striving for your goals as much as you should be um, because you always set things in front of yourself like I want to do a marathon this year I want to do a triathlon so you're saying that goal setting is not quite as much a priority when you're smoking too much I, w I definitely will say that hmm. definitely Interesting. because because you listen to this guy you're looking because I smoke I smoke weed like what man uh, I ate the day almost it got to the point I'll smoke four months a day six months even getting down the road and are uh, you don't especially when you don't have the your weed friends aren't your real friends <laughs> essentially are like not that you're not your real friends but your friends smoking weed can't tell you you're in a cloud because they're in the same cloud with you so no one's gonna tell you that they're not gonna tell you wrong because they're wrong if you're right 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 yeah, 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 it's right. I, two years down the road my friend said what happened you used to work out a lot <laughs> two years later versus versus your friend who works out a lot like you do who doesn't smoke as much weed as you do but knows you work out a lot he's like hey bro you need to get get off the couch because yeah. why because he wants you to come back with him right but the guys that are smoking pot are like hey where are you going stay back on the couch right, right. and so and and, yeah, yeah, and, and yeah, that's yeah, yeah, and that's yeah. a thing like you, you got to pick your choose your friends you are the company you keep um michael pena or daniel pena what's the guy's name on instagram he says that um he says if you're I'm gonna let this guy you're talk. a median of your friends are you the people you surround so if you're not around millionaires you'll never be a millionaire if you're not around people who want more from themselves then you'll never want more for yourself you end up right in the middle so it's kind of like 28 you're pretty good dude yeah that's pretty, I mean, pretty I mean, advanced shit pretty advanced shit for you man I'm not, at your I mean, age you. and if you guys all give me a hard time about 28 being advanced it is kind of advanced because a lot of times people are so, more selfish at this age yeah. and he's starting to think bigger picture and yeah. that's probably because he has his own business so he has to think that way it's it's made him think outside the box more mm -hmm. and uh again everything you're saying is true man mm -hmm. so last thing uh father died four years ago mm -hmm. we put this as part of his issue too tell us how that affects you um, again, it goes back to the self medicating thing. Um, I didn't realize like, like I would cry about like it talking even now I'll get like a little teary eyed mentioning it. And it's like you have like a pain or sadness in you that you don't know how to that you don't know really is there. And so me working literally, I did not take a break from working that whole year. I took that one month off and then started back working again. My sleep started to get off. My pain in my body started to get worse. All these things just started getting worse. And like my mom, no one's talking to me. No one's, no one's helping me. So you get to a point where you you medicate yourself differently, like smoking more, act, right. like, you know, doing different things. But he didn't even come in leading with this. This is the last thing we talked about a little bit ago. And so he just goes, oh yeah, my dad died too. And I go, bingo. Yeah. There's probably the impetus to the whole thing. And so you can hear him, how he's talking now compared to how he was talking a few minutes ago. You can hear the angst and the anxiety in his conversation about his father. And so that is not the only cause, but what it has done is it exacerbated his underlying conditions and made everything worse. Yeah, I, will, I will agree with that because, again, it separates you from your, another thing separates you from love, yourself. Mutual love here. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah, no, yeah, he's a real cool guy. Yeah. You know, it's another thing that separates you from yourself. Like, you know, like I yeah. told my girl today, um, I was going to start a clothing line and I can't tell you, I went and bought the hats and then I can't tell you why I didn't pick them back up. Just, I can't tell you certain things like why I didn't do that. Like I was getting my trademarking license and then I can't tell you why I didn't get my trademark license. Yeah. So yeah, you know, definitely dis it's distracting. Distracting, exactly. <laughs> That's the story so far. We're gonna do an exam on him. Uh, I'm really glad he's letting us do the video. It'll be a lot of fun.
you guys. Push down your head, tell me what you feel, okay? Okay. <laughs> Any pain in your neck there, sir? No. Okay. Oh. How about that? You heard that. I heard that. You self adjust all the time, too? Uh, just stop it. Yeah, I have the, the <laughs> chiropractor said. How's that? You heard that. I yeah. heard that. I heard yeah. both sides. Which side's worse, though? Any pain either side? They're both pretty bad. <coughs> okay. So this way. Push down. That one? No. So okay. down isn't the way. Oh. That one? Yeah. Oh. One hurt more than the other? The left. Gotcha. I'm gonna push in the middle back here. How about this pain right here? It is tight. Okay. So more here. Or more here, in the middle, right? Middle, yeah, gotcha. Yeah, 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 no. How about this? Yeah, it's tight right there. This one? Oof, oof. Right there. How about this one? Uh, no. Uh, so more here, right? Yeah. So more here, or more down here? The the pain was sharper in the middle. Gotcha. Upper. So it's interesting when you touch his back. It's very very weak down here. There's yeah. like no muscle down here. Yeah. Which he looks like a muscular guy, but nothing. It's very weak. Can I push on your neck now? Yeah. Right here. Or right here, which one's worse? Both pretty bad. Okay, so this one or this Oof, one, which one's worse? That, that is, that, that, That's the one. Yeah. So it's an interesting location on his back where he has the most pain. This area is a little bit lower than the upper back, which means that there's some kind of rib issue right here too. He says he has pain here when he drives, but it's definitely interesting. I'll take a look at that in the x-rays. Same or different from side to side? Same or different? That's weird. It feels sharper on the left side. Yeah, less on the right, right? This one? Same. Feels sharper. Over here? Yeah. Or that one? Same. Same? So this one is sharp on the left? Or this one? It, on the hands, it's kind of like getting a little, like this it feels a little sharper exactly, on the Exactly, the whole hand, right? Yeah, like. Now this one? Feels same. Feels sharper. On the left. Yeah, yeah. good. So that is the pinwheel, guys. What we're doing is we're checking his neurological system, seeing what's intact. And you can see how the whole left side is diminished over here. And so he's hyperesthesia on that side. So that means actually this right side is diminished. So anyways, that's important neurological factor. So I'm going to measure real quick here. Uh, 32. Move your hands. 32, 26. 32, 26. 12. Right, so you're malnourished. See what you find out for me, just draw it automatically? No, I, I completely agree with you, because when I was, I was I used, to, I used to eat a shitload. I used to eat, eat so much and make people sick. Yeah, exactly, right? Mm -hmm. And how much better shape were you? Oh, I, <laughs> I was curling the whole day. <laughs> okay, so uh, come forward a little bit. I walk back until your butt touches. Yeah. Come forward a little bit. Come forward a little bit. Come forward a little bit. Okay, arms down straight. I used to say I was stronger than your dad. You probably were at one time, and then you became vegan. <laughs>